we shall reflect on the life of St. Bridget of Sweden. St. Bridget was the daughter of a remarkably devout Christian couple. Brought up by an aunt after the untimely demise of her parents, the entire course of Bridget's life was extraordinary. She lived her life to the full, first as a married woman and then as a religious. She married when barely 13 and lost her husband, Ulf Gudmarsson, in 1344, after 28 years of a happy marriage that bore them four sons and four daughters, of whom Catherine of Sweden is honoured by the church as a saint. An ascetic and visionary since the early age of seven, her penitential exercises and prophetic visions now increased. The Passion of Christ remaining at the centre of a devotion that expressed itself in charity. Her countenance always smiling, she was ever meek and kind towards every creature. Indeed, the reputation her piety and charity earned her saw her appointed principal lady-in-waiting to Queen Blanche, the newly wedded consort of the Swedish king Marcus II. One of the revelations she confided to a confessor commanded her to found a new religious order for the purpose of reforming monastic life. In response, she founded the double order of the Holy Redeemer at Varstena in 1346 with generous endowments from the king. In imitation of Christ's 72 disciples, there were to be 13 priests, 4 deacons, 8 lay brothers and in a nearby convent, 60 nuns who, by their prayers, were to sustain the preaching apostolate of the priests. A woman of great courage and strength, she did not fear to reprove the king himself, besides princes, priests and popes, for the reliction of duty and morals. Together with her widowed daughter Catherine, Bridget, whose name denotes strength, went to Rome for the holy year 1350 and stayed on there until her death on the 23rd of July 1373, having finally obtained papal approval for a rule from Pope Urban V in 1370. During her pilgrimage to the Holy Land in the year 1372, she was blessed with four months of near-continuous visions of the Lord's life and passion. These began with the young maiden Mary in her parents' home, while in the humble cave at Bethlehem, she witnessed Our Lady kneeling and thralled before her newborn infant and exclaiming, Be welcome, my Lord and my Son. Bridget was canonized by Pope Boniface IX on 7th October 1391.